CISSP certification, CISM certification. Which of these two heavyweight certifications is right for you? In this video, we will discuss the Certified Information System Security Professional Certification, and we will compare it to the Certified Information Security Manager Certification. And we'll talk about what's gonna be right for you based upon your goals. We'll talk about the strengths of these uh, certifications, who they're meant for, and how they can be applied towards your career. I'm gonna begin with the CISSP certification, the Certified Information System Security Professional. This is from the ISC squared. And all in all, this is one of the biggest and best cybersecurity certifications in the world. It is a broad technical and managerial level exam of pretty much anything in the world of cybersecurity, security architecture and cloud security architecture. And the CISSP certification is based upon eight domains. And it's considered to be the gold standard of security certifications, much the way the CCIE is the gold standard of networking certifications. The eight domains of the CISSP include security and risk management, asset security, security architecture and engineering, honestly, uh, communications as well as network security, identity and access management, security assessment and testing, security operations, and even software development security. Now, the CISSP, I'm going to tell you right now, is at the architectural level. It is hugely wide and not super deep. So the CISSP is really a security architect certification, a cloud security architect certification, or anyone that's really doing design and planning that needs to think holistically of the entire security environment. So obviously this comes into the world of security architects and cloud security architects, but it also starts getting into the planning engineers, designing design engineers, uh, as well as when we see engineers at the principal engineer level and the distinguished engineering level, they're more in evaluating trade-offs and design opportunities and performance tuning and optimization. And the CISSP knowledge there is also beneficial because it'll round out that person in other areas that may not be their area of expertise. And the CISSP covers a little bit of everything. So it really gives you a feel. And I remember when I first took CISSP training and we were in an official training program and there were CISOs in the program, security directors in the program, security architects in the program, even attorneys were in the program along with some security engineers. So it's big and it's broad and it's applicable to a wide variety of people. The CISSP, I like to say, is my intro to security, just like I like to say the CCIE was my intro to networking because it basically taught me all the things that are out there and all the things that I can learn, and it serves as a beautiful framework for enhancing your security architect career over the next few decades. It gives you a foundation of things to learn. I've also found in my experience after training so many CISSPs that almost the second we put a CISSP certification on a properly written resume, that person's being reached out to by recruiters and hiring managers, assuming the rest of the resume is right. So tend to love the CISSP certification. It was, one of, it was the first security architect certification I actually did back in 2003. Great certification. Now let's talk about another favorite of mine, the CISM or the Certified Information Security Manager. Now this one was created by the ISACA or the Information Systems Audit and Control Association. Now, the CISM certification is really designed for people who govern, manage risk, and manage security teams. So, security leadership here, security executives here. So, like a CISO, a VP, as well as security architects and cloud security architects will also benefit from the certification, though not the way you would think. So... I want you to understand uh, that, and we'll talk about how that will actually impact the security architects soon. So let's talk about the focus of the CISM certification, information security governance, information risk management and compliance, information security program development and management, 
and inf information security incident management. Like if a breach were to occur, what do you do about it? So as you can see, all of these things are more strategic and less technical than the CISSP. So this is purely focused at that strategic level. So let's talk about who should get each one and when and where and who it could be good for. If your goal is security leadership, then the CISM or the Certified Information Security Manager is a great fit, specifically like a CISO position or a VP of security. Now, if your goal is an engineer or a security architect and you, and you only had to choose one certification, I'd recommend the CISSP. Because the CISM is more towards the security leadership. Now you heard me say that I actually like the CISM or the Certified Information Security Manager for security architects and cloud security architects. I'm gonna tell you why. In a security architecture role or a cloud security architecture role, we are gonna be ultimately selling our solutions to both the board, the CEO, as well as the CISO, the Chief Information Security Officer. And in many cases, your chief information security officer is going to be concerned with the exact same things that are being taught on the chief on the certified information security manager exam. So when an architect takes the CISM exam, they know they're not going to learn their security architecture there, but they're going to learn a lot about creating a security program and planning a security program. And by the way, security architects are planners. We don't build anything. So it's a big help there too. And it, and that the second phase for the security architect is now it teaches us as an architect what our clients, the people that want to buy our solutions, are looking for. You're being trained with the CISM into the mindset of the CISO. And that is very beneficial to the security architect or the cloud security architect that has to sell a security architecture or get it funded. Otherwise, uh, none of the architectural designs we've done will do anything. They'll just be PowerPoint and Word documents sitting by the wayside in an architectural repository. So if we think about it strategically, the CISSP is probably the best for the technology professionals as well as the architects. The CISM is best for the leadership people. Now, if you're an architect, like a security or architect or a cloud architect, it may make sense to get both. The CISSP is your predominant security. The CISM is more of your executive knowledge and customer knowledge, and I typically do that. In fact, when I actually train security architects, after I teach security architecture, because that's the job, then I teach them the CISSP, the CISM, and the CCSP. Because the CISSP is my go-to intro to security. My CISM is the go-to to teach you about the management after, outside of the training we provide them. And then the CCSP is cloud consi specific considerations. And that's a perfect certification portfolio for security architect or a cloud security architect. Now, if your goal is to become a security architect or a cloud security architect, join me on a free architecture webinar where we'll go over the architect career. We'll talk about what we do with security architects, cloud security architects, AI architects, network architects, or any other kind of architects. We'll talk about the skills you need for these various architectural roles. We'll talk about what you need to do to get hired, and they're all free. We can have these discussions live on Zoom. To join me on one of these free architecture webinars, look in the description of this video and sign up for one of our free webinars. Also in the description of this video, there are so many resources to help you in your architect career, whether it be a cloud architect, AI architect, security architect, enterprise architect, or cursed network architect as well. So uh, check out the resources in the description of this video. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell to be notified of new videos to assist you in your architecture career, whether it be a cloud architect, security architect, AI architect, or enterprise architect. This is Mike Gibbs signing off for now, and I'll see you in a free webinar or another video. Take care.